The professionals' day complete, but for hundreds of amateurs, their journey continues. Some would barely complete the bike ride before the cutoff time. Others wouldn't be so fortunate, as they couldn't finish the ride before the mandatory 5.30 p.m. cutoff, ten and a half hours after the race began. In all, 189 professionals and amateurs would not be able to complete the grueling task. So much needs to go right, yet there are so many things that can go wrong during the Ironman. But really, it is the number of people that are able to complete this epic journey that is most impressive. By the end of the day, midnight, 17 hours after the race began, an incredible 92% would cross the finish line and become an Ironman. And as midnight quickly approached, the pressure was on. The outcome of an entire day and night of effort would come down to just mere seconds. With just two seconds to spare, Cheryl Johnson from Nanton, Alberta would be the 2057th and final Ironman finisher. For Lisa Bentley and the entire crew, I'm Vic Roder. Thank you for joining us for the 2005 edition of the Subaru Ironman Canada here on Canada Sports Leader, TSA. It's my life. It's better left to chance. I could have missed the pain, but I'd have had to miss the love day.